So we do blog posting here at Website Depot and we actually consistently and currently post blogs for clients. The reason that we do that is because as the website has current blogs happening, Google will detect our client's website and will actually realize that that website is active and will bump our client's websites up, which will gain more traffic and popularity as well. But also blog posting, we also learn how to optimize how to, how to, we also know how to optimize blog posts and learn how to do ad tags and also include like hyperlinks and stuff. So it's a lot that we're learning. First, you will receive the blog assignments as Google Docs. Open the file and you will find the blog. Log in the back end of the website you want to post the blog on. Click Add New and you will see the screen to add a new blog post. Copy the title of the blog and paste it on the Add Title section. Then, copy the rest of the blog and paste it on the body of the blog section. We recommend you delete all the extra spaces between each sentence or paragraph. The next step is to detect the keyword we want the blog to rank for. This keyword is usually bolded by the writer. You need to find a landing page on the website to link to the keyword. To do that, go to Google, type this formula on your browser to find all the pages that contain that keyword. Always use landing pages to link. Do not use categories or other blogs. You can also use the website's sitemap or simply browse on the website to find the landing page you want to use to link the blog. Once you found the landing page, hyperlink your keyword. Always make sure to check on open in a new tab. Now copy the title of the blog and paste it as your SEO title in Yoast. If you have some extra characters, you can always add an extra keyword on the SEO title. Copy the keyword and place it on the Focus Keyword tab. We recommend you to copy a sentence containing the keyword and a call to action and use it as your meta description. Trim it or edit it if necessary, but always keep the keyword and the call to action. As you can see, the keyword needs to be present in the SEO title, the blog's URL, the meta description, and the Focus Keyword tab. Look for images that are relevant to the blog. You need to download two images, one for the featured image and another to place in the body of the blog. Images should be named after the focus keyword. To defer from one another, you can simply add a dash or a dot on the second image you download. Never leave the image file named with codes or numbers. After you downloaded the images, open Photoshop and place them there. Use Ctrl, Alt, and I to open image size, take the highest value, and reduce it to 800 pixels. You should also reduce the quality to 7. It is also recommended to brand the featured image with the company's logo and phone number although that doesn't apply to all the clients. When the images are done, place the featured image in the lower right corner. Copy the focus keyword and paste it on the alt text and title tabs. Remove any additional information on the image.
Place the second image after the first paragraph. Add a space, click on Add Media, browse for the second image, or drag and drop, and also place the keyword on the Alt, Text, and Title tabs, removing any other information as well. Now you need to add the category and tags for the blog. We recommend you to use relevant tags that are already present on the website. Same applies to categories. Do not add new categories or tags unless it's strictly necessary. You should add between two and three tags and only one category. For SEO purposes, it is always good to add an external link to another relevant website. Make sure this link leads to a trustworthy source, does not interfere with any of the keywords you want to rank for, and of course, doesn't lead to a competitor's site. This backlink should have a criteria and add value to your blog. If you can't find a term or idea that is useful to backlink to, we recommend you not to backlink at all. This is important. Make sure your backlink always opens in a new tab. Now, you're ready to post a blog, backdate or schedule it for an upcoming date. If you need to backdate or schedule, edit the date on the publish on by your upper right hand corner. Once you posted, backdated or scheduled your blog, go back to the post section. Always make sure your blog has the right author. Do not leave author as WD editor, Web Depot, or any other similar. And you're done. So that was our video on how to schedule blog posts. If you have any more questions or concerns about how to do that, you can just click down below for additional resources or you can rewatch the entire video.